Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and you know, great stories don't need visuals. Great stories are the visual themselves. And so I wanted to share with you a story that was told by President Ulysses S. Grant, or if you wish to call him General Grant. It was all about a story that was told to him by a dear friend of his who was Senator Nye of Nevada. And the day before he went to Mount McGregor in 1885, he uh, sat down and chatted with Chauncey Depew. And he told the story to Depew, and Depew carefully wrote it down. Because he knew Grant was dying, and he knew this might be one of his last stories. The interesting thing about Grant, he could tell some really funny stories. And so I will uh, go on it right now. He said that uh, his friend, Senator Nye, was in Connecticut, speaking on his interest in the last campaign. And you know, he was an excellent speaker, and he told me that he arrived at one of the principal manufacturing towns. He was entertained by the leading manufacturer. Uh, in his big house, in magnificent style. The dinner was everything that could be desired, except for that the only fluid to drink was ice water. After a long speech, nigh on returning to the house, he had a reception, and the supper was still dry, except plenty of ice water. Nye was completely exhausted, went to bed, but could not sleep, nor could he find any stimulants. So about six o'clock in the morning, he dressed and wandered down to the dining room. The head of the house came in and, seeing him, exclaimed, Why, Senator, you're up so early. Nye replied, Yeah, you know, out in Nevada, we have a great deal of malaria and I could not sleep. Well, said the host, this is a temperate town. We find it an excellent thing for the working people, and especially for the young men. But we have some malaria here also, and for that I have a private remedy. Whereupon he went to a closet and pulled out a bottle of brandy. After his host had left, Nye continued there in a refreshed and more enjoyable spirit. Soon his hostess came in, much surprised, and said, Why, Senator, you're up early. Yes, he said, out in Nevada, we have a great deal of malaria, and while I'm on these speaking tours, I have sharp attacks and cannot sleep. I had one last night. Well, she remarked, this is a temperance town, and it's a good thing for the working people and for the young men, but I have a touch of malaria now and then myself. Then she went over to the tea caddy and pulled out a bottle of brandy. The senator by this time was in perfect harmony with himself and the whole world. Then the boys from the town came to visit and said, Senator, we hear that you are an expert on livestock, horses, and cattle. Won't you come out to the barn so we can show you some of that we regard as a very fine specimen? So the boys took him out to the barn, shut the door, and locked it. Then they whispered, Senator, we have no livestock, but we have a bottle here in the hay, and say, pull out a bottle of brandy. The senator wound up his narrative, as Grant said, by saying, the wettest place that I know is a dry town in Connecticut. The next day, General Grant left for Mount McGregor, and a few days later lost his voice completely. But it's nice to give voice to General Grant in the last days of his life. Thank you.